Well, March Madness is here and FAU fans are ready for it all. Many have made the journey to Columbus, Ohio to see the team make the men's NCAA basketball tournament for just the second time in all of school history. ESPN 106.3's Theo Dorsey has also made the trip as fans take it all in. Well, I tell you, there's no day like game day, and I can't wait until tip off. I'm not just saying that because I'm standing right now in the midst of a very chilly downtown Columbus, Ohio. But hey, the nine seeded FAU Owls getting ready to tip off against the eight seed Memphis Tigers. And yeah, they're looking to pull off an upset, but don't sleep on FAU. The Dusty May led squad's 31 wins are tied for the most of any team in the nation entering the tournament. And they more than proved themselves in one and done situations last week when they were crowned Conference USA champs out in Texas. Now, it's been more than two decades since the Owls made the big dance, so it makes sense why so many fans made that trip more than 1,100 miles to come and see them play. You know, it's great. That I think we're going to have the biggest crowd at an FAU sporting event outside of Boca than we've had since the 2007 New Orleans Bowl, you know, our first bowl game. So that, that in itself is absolutely incredible. Now, a quick note here. If you know any fans that made the trip like me to downtown Columbus to see the Owls play, whistle and keg. 5:30. That's where all the Owls fans will be hooting and hooting until they can hoot inside the arena at 9:20 when the Tigers and the Owls finally face off. From downtown Columbus, Theo Dorsey for ESPN 106.3. We'll stay with WPTV for coverage of FAU in March Madness and ESPN's 106.3's Theo Dorsey is there in Columbus. You saw him. He's ready for tonight's big game as the Owls will look to advance to the round of 32 on Sunday.